Hey everyone, my name is Janina and I keep promising I'm going to make a video and I have yet to do so. So I'm going to do it now. Um, I'm not going to show my face because I've had a splitting headache all day and not looking too good right now. But anyway, uh, we bought this little um, twin Cosway uh, wash machine and spinner for our travel trailer. It's super duper light. We do not have a place to put it in our travel trailer, um, a washer and dryer hookup. So that's exactly, I mean, it's perfect for that. Um, so because it's so light, we just store it away. And then when we need it, we put it in the shower in the uh, travel trailer. And as you can see, it drains from the bottom. So you need the drain to be below it. So that way it can just come out no problem. Um, the hose that comes with it is useless this is it so it doesn't fit onto any sink or faucet or anything so the way i do it is as you can see i, I put it in my home shower right now just to show you all so i'm not sitting in my travel trailer um we are packing our house to move so we'll be staying in our trailer while we are building a house and my son plays to like baseball. So the main reason we got it before we decided to move was to wash his baseball uniforms on tournament weekends. Okay, so I have my um, faucet uh, into the shower to fill it uh, halfway, as you see uh, I'm doing now. This also gives you the opportunity to select your water um, temperature if you want it cold or if you want it warm. Um, and because I'm only going to wash two pair of baseball pants, uh, I think I'm going to stop here. Okay, if you have a Dollar Tree in your area, I use this. They are $1, and I go in there and I buy about 20 of them. And it says it's good for six loads of a household wash machine. I fill that cap up. I mean, well, it depends how much your load or, you know, how much water you have, but I mean, I put it maybe a quarter of a cup in there okay then here's your settings I will select a put it on normal even though his pants are stained and then I find that I can put it on six about six minutes and the agitator it agitates almost better than a household wash machine I mean let's see you can see that, the way it agitates. And I'm going to stick his stained baseball pants in there. This is the whole reason we got the uh, washing machine, is when he's out of town. We don't have to stay in hotels. We have a nice uh, travel trailer, and we can just wash his uniforms in it. So I think six minutes is good. So I'll come back in about six minutes and show you the next step. Okay, I just want to take a quick second to show that uh, it's not loud at all, not noisy. Uh, mine is shaking a little bit because my drain um, is a little is lower in my shower, naturally. Um, but it is it's quiet and it agitates very well. Let's see, Let's see that so definitely going to be clean. They definitely come out clean. After this cycle, uh, you're to drain it and a lot of people will go straight from the drain and go straight to the tumbler, the spinner, but to me when it drains I just need to have that rinse, uh, another rinse cycle. So I refill it again and do another rinse and I'll show you how I do that in a second. It's uh, We only have um, a couple minutes left then I'll come back and do that part for you. Okay, so once the wash machine is finished with this time, you click off and then you switch the center to drain. And as you can see, it just drains right out. That's why you want it in the shower because it um, drains from the bottom. So it makes it so easy. And if you have dirty clothes, you will literally see dirty water. These pants were clean, but he had some stains on them, so I soaked the stains, and so I'm just doing a, uh, a quick wash on them to get those stains out. So as you can see, all the little bubbles came out, and it's nice and clean on the inside. 
So what I do is I'll go ahead and switch it back to normal and put some more water in it. And this time it's just for that little rinse. I just need that rinse. Uh, some people don't, they bypass this part and go straight to the um, spinner, but I need that rinse. And then at this time, if you use a little bit of softener, this is a good time to put it in there. Just a, and just a little bit, because it just doesn't take much. So you can see. Now with this washer and dryer, because you have to do each step yourself, um, you kind of have to look over it. But you'll hear it when it goes off. It don't take long at all. So we're going to go ahead and rinse this, and then I'll come back and show you the third step. Okay, this is the, like a rinse with a little softener in it. And then when it goes off, I just put it on drain again. That way it can drain out. And you're also welcome, if you want, if you see suds or something on there and you want to put more spray water on it, this is a fine time to do it. It's hard for me to do this with the phone. So, I just get a nice little rinse on it. Oh. Trying to make my video pause the video so you're not want to have to sit there and watch so much. Okay. So it's still draining what I'm putting in there. Alright, so we'll put the next step. Let me turn this off. Okay. So now you have the skin inside. And so you'll take these clothes out and you'll put them onto the spin inside. Once it's on the side, it comes with a, um, a plastic disc. So you stick it in there. Like that. And now we will spin it. Oh, and you can see all the water coming out. It's a, oh, so this side does stop when you pick it up, unlike the other side. Okay. water coming out so it's spinning all the water clear and you can see there's no suds coming out so it is clean water so it does rinse well okay then I'll be back and show you uh, what it's like when it's finished okay and once I stop seeing water come out then I know that it is, it is, um, it's spun as much as it's going to. So you just take the little ring out and you have your, you have your clothes. And seriously, they are better than I mean, they are very close to dry. I mean, it's not a dryer. It is close to dry. Um, and so in my travel trailer, I have a, a shower rod that I have across the top that I pull out to the center, and then I'll just drape them over that and um, and to let them finish drying. Like I said, these are baseball pants, and they uh, you play select baseball, so we wear them three days a week for practices and then baseball I mean games so there's really these are his practice ones and they actually look pretty good compared to what they did but this uh, wash and dryer definitely does the job those stains would not be out even if I used the, the household um, wash and dryer or washer I should say uh, it cleans just as well as the home wash machine so um Anyway, so there's my quick video, 10 minutes, sorry it took so long, um, sorry for the 
deep raspy voice but I'm not feeling too good I have a headache and just wanted to show you and like I said I just stick it stuck it in my wash in my uh in my um oh household a washer uh it's not a shower anyway so that's the end of the video hope that helps you kind of get an idea for under $100 I absolutely think it's worth it